Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a Ford F-150 Black Widow Armed Forces Edition. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to Kunani for sending me over the footage of this truck. I'm going to include a link to her Instagram in the description down below. She posts a ton of cool truck content, so definitely go check her out. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. Let's go over this Ford F-150 Black Widow Armed Forces Edition. Uh, so first off, you guys will notice here with the front grille how you've got the Black Widow logo there in the center. And then you can also see with the hood how you've got the venting with another Black Widow logo. You guys will see a lot of Black Widow logos on the truck. And then you have the special matte paint that comes with the Armed Forces Editions. Now you can get matte paint on um, non-Armed Forces Editions trucks but it's standard on the Armed Forces Edition. Hopefully that makes sense. And there's a quick look at the front end with the suspension. Um, now, the new F-150 has independent front suspension, and you can see there with the shocks, how they're uh, stretched out with the lift, and we'll talk about the lift in just a moment uh, that comes with the trucks, but it's pretty cool to see it. Uh, just like the whole setup and like it looks it just looks aggressive from a front of perspective you can see like the whole underneath of the truck there is a little bit of protection which you know obviously is a big plus if anyone decides to take this off road and then coming here to the side you guys will notice here with the fender flares they're just absolutely massive so that's uh, another part of the black widow package is you do get the bolt-on fender flares notice how they changed that to be a black widow logo and then down below as well now we do have a six inch suspension lift with the truck. Uh, everything's covered under warranty. It's a three year, 36,000 mile warranty. It's all compliant uh, with everything. So you don't have to worry about any of that as well. And so you basically, you're covered, right? And they make sure that everything's nicely calibrated so that you're not gonna, you know, drive down the road and your wheels are gonna fall off. Now, uh, 20 inch wheels are standard and then 35s, um, but I believe that you can upgrade to 22 inch wheels if you want and then 37s um, which is just crazy. 35s are more than enough if you ask me. It's a big uh, tire for a half ton truck. But you know 37s, those look pretty cool. And also just, um, I, I know it's kind of hard to tell with the uh, video, um, just sending videos through email sometimes it kind of messes with the resolution a little bit sorry about that um, but the paint quality with the black widow trucks is really solid all the trucks that i've seen in person have been just absolutely amazing i haven't had a chance to see an armed forces edition in person yet it doesn't seem like they uh, send any of those to utah they just do the regular trucks sadly but yeah, i think they've done a really good job with it i i haven't seen a black widow truck where i'm like yeah i think it should have better paint setup i also got the power side steps that are also part of the package which you definitely need it when you have a six inch lift now they don't really change anything with the door panel on the truck um, a lot of the changes are to like the gauge cluster for example you can see you've got the custom black widow gauges right there which look really cool and then we also have the custom black widow seats that they throw into the truck as well which also look really cool now it's got the black widow logo there at the top and typically they'll build these trucks off of an XLT with the Fords. So you'll notice a bunch of uh, bits, the, the fully loaded XLT given, um, but being an XLT, um, you know, you only have heated seats, not cooled seats. And then it'll have uh, just four wheel high and four wheel low and have the four wheel uh, auto system that like a Lariat would have. But depending on where, where you live, that might not even matter, right? There's, you know, a lot of these trucks get sold in regions where they don't ever have snow or anything like that so it's like eh, it doesn't really matter but another thing to mention here with the uh, trucks is the rear so notice how you've got again that same setup in the rear is what you have in the front from a tire perspective and again door panel in the rear they just keep the same uh, just normal xlt door panel but notice again with the backs of the seats there and then back seats themselves you've got that custom stitching and everything because again they do the seat covers here with the truck in the rear and being you know a super crew with a ford it's got tons of storage space back there and you know leg room for passengers and everything like that and then also the charging ports down below 
and it's a, just a nice place to be. Notice Amp Research right there. Uh, Amp makes great stuff, so I'm actually planning on uh, putting them on the TRX pretty soon. I know that's not part of this video, but thought I'd mention it. And yeah, you guys can see with the paint, they've just done a really good job with integrating all of it. Um, sometimes, you know, paint jobs aren't uh, great, but they they nail it with that. You can see them folding back now. And then popping to the rear, you guys can see you still have leaf springs with the Ford. Now, something that's interesting um, with the Black Widow, with the Ford version of the Black Widow trucks is they actually upgrade the Fox shocks in the rear. So I've seen a bunch of Black Widow Rams and they don't really change the shocks. I think the reason they do that is because Ford still uses leaf springs. And so if you lift the truck, probably is just going to ride pretty rough. But you have the Fox shocks and it helps out with making it ride a little bit smoother. Whereas the Ram, since it has a coil suspension, just, yeah, just keep the, stand, just keep the standard set up and you're fine. That's what it seems like, at least. And also, painting stuff like a gas cap sounds easy. No, it's not. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Is you just got to imagine that is not an easy thing uh, to do and make it look good too. It's another thing that's pretty crazy to me. And I actually like the design of the wheels. They're, you know, they're big, obviously, but they, I think they look good. And they, they match the theme of the truck, kind of what it's going for. Uh, now, something uh, to mention is we aren't going to pop under the hood, but I do want to talk about the powertrain. So typically they'll do 50 V8s with the Black Widow trucks. Um, I have seen a few EcoBoosts. What I would love to see is a power boost. Now, here's the one thing to mention is the power boost powertrain is pretty sensitive uh, from what I've heard. And so like if you lift a power boost, then like the fuel economy just like disappears. But that being said, I, uh, I don't know. I think that that would be pretty cool if you ask me if they did the Black Widow power boost, then it was like insanely fast lifted truck. I don't know. I think a weird idea is, and you guys can see a little sticker here for the pricing on it. At over ninety thousand dollars. I think that's what that said. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, another thing to mention here uh, with the Armed Forces Edition is you don't have to have like a military background to purchase this truck. Um, you know, obviously that's kind of what they're aiming at, and you can see here on the back with the American flag and everything. But you know, anyone can buy the truck, just like Ram did their like built to serve edition that was, you know, would commemorate different branches of the military. You didn't have to be in the military to purchase a built to serve edition. So same thing with this truck. And then another thing with the XLT is you guys can see the base taillights for the Ford. And then uh, look like stuff like the parking sensors. I'm just thinking, cause I've, I've had so many of my vehicles wrapped. And so I've seen, and I know that painting is different from wrapping, but like, I just think about all these little things, like how difficult because I've also had little things painted on my vehicles as well. And I'm just like, oh, man, it's crazy they were able to do the stuff with this truck that they were able to do. It's impressive, if you ask me. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see the setup underneath with everything that they've done with the truck. Now, I wish that they would do a spare that was, you know, the same as the other wheels on the truck. Maybe that's asking for a little bit too much, but I don't know. I think that would be cool if they did that instead of just a... I mean, just imagine having that dinky little spare on. That would be kind of interesting driving around. And then also the plugins for towing. A lot of people ask about the payload and towing. So they do put updated payload stickers on these trucks. Uh, but it doesn't seem like the payload gets affected all that much by the lift and everything. You do have to get a different hitch, obviously. Well, not hitch, but yeah, yeah, hitch. Because of, you know, the truck being so high up off the ground, it's not just going to be able to just normally go into a uh, trailer so that's that's one thing to mention and another thing that i think is cool actually is with these trucks the fact that they look like completely factory pretty much like it doesn't look like you know someone just like threw in a bunch of aftermarket parts even though ultimately there it that's basically what it is it actually it looks like it it looks factory uh, pretty much of course, got more Black Widow logos. Got to have every Black Widow logo possible with the truck. And you guys can see the bed liner there, which is nice because uh, a lot of the Fords I review, they almost never have 
uh, bed liner, which is kind of interesting. And yeah, notice with the LED bed lights as well, it's another nice thing with the Ford, and then you got like the measuring charts there on the back as well, which is pretty cool. And I actually used my uh, tailgate stuff in the Raptor for like the first time ever a little bit ago, which was kind of interesting to see. Um, but yeah, here's a couple pictures you guys can see kind of better. Uh, again, sorry about the resolution of the video. It's just because uh, stuff was emailed over and doesn't always come over in the best formatting. But really cool truck. I want you guys to let me know what you think about it. I think it's a really cool spec, that's for sure. But there you go.